damn it's finally starting to click need some coffee for this one what up guys today i have probably the most important video if you even consider yourself a serious towel holder so this guide however long it is is the result of me bugging the hell out of discord for the past week just to figure out all the nuances all the terms and everything to simplify it for you guys right here right now you see as i was scaling my mining operation i'm currently trying to mine on like four or five different subnets i quickly understood that all my tau was sitting on a chrome wallet extension touching the internet and you know just my private keys were generated on that chrome extension and i was one wrong link away one scammy website one fake influencer or one fake subnet owner sending me something and just literally taking all my funds away so i took matter into my own hands and i figured everything you guys need to know about cold storage staking for uh, bitensor tau all right guys so the very first measure you need to undertake is stake your tau on a cold storage device like a ledger i use the ledger nano x i like it it's the website right here make sure you type shop.ledger.com link will be in the des description to make sure that you're on the right place and guys, I'm in crypto for 10 years. There is a major nuance. You guys, most of you people probably stake your towel from here, from the hot wallet, but you're one link away from get getting fished, getting scammed and all of these things. So the goal right now is to put all our towel from, you know, that wallet right there, which is on your computer, which is connected to the internet to this ledger device. So no attacker can get to your coins. Once you've ordered your ledger and it's properly, you know, arrived at your home, just generate the seed phrase. If you don't know how to do that, I highly suggest just go watch the Crypto Dad's YouTube channel. And he has plenty of, you know, good guides on how to set up your ledger with the seed phrase and everything. So right now I'm on my ledger live application and you guys need to understand that you are going to sign transactions with your ledger live device, but you are not going to see your Tao tokens on here just as you see with my bitensor and ethereum wallets because in essence uh bitensor is a substrate chain and ledger live actually cannot talk to subst substrate chains at the moment so for that reason we need to download a third party application so head on over to talisman.xyz exactly and we definitely need to download the wallet so you just click here make sure there's 133 ratings and you know the handle at the end you know ends uh, with these letters right here you click add to chrome add extension it's super simple just like the towel wallet right here it's going to download in one second and boom it's done so now you click get started you just type in a password you click i agree and just like that your talisman wallet is created but you have to understand this wallet is only going to access your public address uh, your actual signing when you send out transactions is going to be done on your actual le uh, ledger device so you would need to press both buttons and you know send away your towel once your ledger is nice and open you're gonna head on over to your ledger live and click the tab right here my ledger okay um, then allow the connection on your uh, actual ledger for the interface to uh, you know log in and essentially what you're going to do here is head on over directly to apps installed and you need to install the Polkadot app don't ask me why it took me like six hours to understand it but basically Polkadot handles the signing when it comes to BitTensor transactions make sure you're on version 100.0.14 and the operating system would be version 2.5.0 and never opt in into their ledger recovery thing with the government IDs and everything. Just don't do it. Okay. And once that is ready, I don't know if you can see it right now, but on your ledger, you, you click until you're on the Polkadot app and then you click with your both fingers on both buttons. Boom, you click it. It's going to say Polkadot ready. And that's when you have to head on back over to your Talisman wallet and, you know, just uh, follow the, the instructions. So once you're in here, you need to generate a public BitTensor Tao address. So you're going to head on over to the little uh, plus sign, which, which says add accounts. And you're going to click connect and connect ledger. Because like I said, ledger is going to be doing the signing. Talisman wallet is only going to ask ledger if they can send transactions. This is the correct, correct way to do it. You're going to click Polkadot because Polkadot handles, uh, you know, the BitTensor chain is written right here. You're going to choose the network BitTensor 
Edger, you're gonna click here Polkadot app and you're gonna see a pop-up like this one. You're gonna click on the Nano X and don't worry guys, this is not a scam. You need to allow the ledger uh, to communicate with the third-party application, which is Talisman. So click connect, boom. Now you click continue and pull uh, Talisman wallet literally just fetch you 10 different addresses. You can select them. Boom, you select one, you press continue. Once you've pressed continue, Talisman now only has the public address part available, you know, on this application and anything that you need to do regarding sending Tao to someone or staking to root or to subnets from here, um, you're going to have to sign it on the hardware ledger device. And you know, that way, if someone tries to fish you or you have a lot of viruses on your computer, the only way you lose your Tao is if you accept it on this device. And this is exactly what we want. So if you look here on the left side, Ledger Betensor 1, I'm not going to hover over my address, but this is what I named it. And on Talisman Wallet, if you want to send some tokens, there's an arrow right here on the right side. You just click Send Tau, you, you, you select the coin, and this is the recipient's address like any other wallet. And once you click Send, uh, there's going to be a green button right here on, on the down, down section right here. You click send and you need to sign it on your ledger device and you basically learn how to do cold storage. The same principle goes for staking to root or for alpha subnet tokens. So now that you know how to send Tao from your Talisman wallet and you know just sign it, signing it on your ledger device, it's from the little arrow here, we're not going to implement staking with this option right here because we need to limit slippage with sandwich attacks and you just have less functionalities right here. So you're gonna X that and you're going to go to this Chrome extensions uh, web traffic SEO checker. You're going to add it to Chrome. This is to check that you're on genuine websites. This is something I use to like double check. And then once you're on taostats.io, you can just uh, click this little thing here. You pin it. Boom, you click it. You can directly see the monthly traffic on this website. So 315,000 people per month, 300,000 people. So you can be sure you're on the genuine Tao stats. Uh, website, you know, to not get fished and connect your wallets to wrong websites. You are now ready to actually buy a subnet token by signing it with your ledger device. So you can just click the connect wallet right here. But before you do that, just to make sure the website doesn't bug, because this is something I noticed, head on, head on over to your Chrome extension and click uh, manage, manage extension. Uh, click my extensions and just disable if you have any other type of other wallets because so me right now I have the Betensor Chrome wallet and the Talisman wallet. So I disabled the Betensor wallet because we're obviously going to stake with the Talisman wallet just for the website to not like fetch me the wrong wallet and etc. All right, guys, bear with me. You're almost done. We can now buy Subnet Alpha tokens directly from our ledger device, which is the safest way, you know, to transact and to not get fished. So you see my balance right here, 0.07. And let's say I want to buy 0.03 Tau worth of shoots as alpha token. And you see the amounts here. Before you press buy the green button, you're going to go here to this website, tauyield.com. And you're going to select Subnet64 because we're buying shoots. And I mainly go, you know, with the best validator. I make sure to select 30 days. I see that the best uh, you know, the, the best API is around 96 or 97 percent. I'll most likely go with this validator here because the stake weight is much bigger. So I trust them more. And you just click on the validator and you see on the screen their hotkey 5 DT, whatever, and VB, whatever. You, you see the last letters. So once you go back to Tau stats, it's very important. Click the, the little wrench here. You set your max slippage. Uh, something similar to the number here right now there's no slippage and you go on to select you know the validator that I mentioned 5 DT uh, with the last letters right here G B C Q whatever so this is the right validator that's going to give you the good APY you press done you have the amounts here boom you press buy and then you confirm and then you're gonna have a little pop-up right here and this is what I was talking about Sign on legend. You can see add stake limit. You can check the details if you want. Um, the net UID of the subnet. So you're staking on the right subnet. You can close it. Then you press sign on ledger and it's going to say, please unlock your ledger. So you need to go on your ledger. Boom. You, you type in your password. And then when you see polka dot ready, you click close again, obviously, because my ledger was closed. 
you click sign again and then it's going it's going to say please review so you click a bunch of buttons and be very careful look at what the ledger says and make sure it's our, it's the correct information and then you press both buttons at the same time and just like that you'll see uh you know transaction success successful as you can see my amount lowered and i have the alpha tokens right here 0 0.32 quick side note do not forget if all of your tau is sitting on a chrome extension wallet like this one like me before you actually need to unstake your tau from root and have it like free unbonded and select your talisman address whatever it is you select it and you send it away from the wallet here because this wallet you need to understand that it touches the internet your private keys were generated on your computer when you created this wallet but we now need to move them to the talisman wallet because your private keys are on a ledger so nobody can scam you can fish you can send you phony links and you need to to move the funds you actually need to sign, sign with your own hands which is not the case with this wallet currently so do not forget to do that so congratulations guys you now learn how to do cold storage staking to subnets or on root on root, it's the same principle. You just go to Tau Stats and you need to select, uh, you click subnets and you click uh, subnet zero and you do the exact same thing if you just want to stick to root. But yeah, basically you go back to your Talisman wallet, you click your main Tau. Now my balances are blurred, obviously, but you, you can see right here the subnet that we just staked and staking or unstaking is all done on Tau stats. It's the easiest. So you can see, you know, the different subnet tokens that you have staked here directly from your Talisman app. But everything is done on your Ledger device. So once again, congratulations. You just understood a huge security tip. And this is the way you need to proceed to keep your Tau safe.